Hello folks, uh, this is Ron back here with a, uh, a discussion about the uh, Mavic Air 2 versus the Scudio 2 uh, as far as the camera is concerned. Um, now the Mavic Air 2 states that it shoots 4K60 and it also states it shoots uh, HDR. But what I have learned so far is it doesn't do both at the same time. If you want to shoot um, in HDR on the Mavic Air 2, you need to dial the settings down to 4K 30 or less. It will not shoot HDR in 4K 60 uh, when it's released. Whether this is changed by a future firmware update, uh, it's too early to predict that. Um, so uh, why I bring this up is I have the... Uh, the Scotty O2 drone over here that many of you uh, have heard of. It's a, a drone by an American company. It was released at the end of last year. It's kind of hard to get now because uh, they have a small production area and it's been shut down because of the coronavirus for a while. I think they're still trying to ship out batch three at this point. But anyhow, um, this uh, this drone here this uh, was released to... Uh, uh, people started getting at the end of November, uh, December last year. The people were on batch one. Um, but it also features a 4K60 camera, and it also features HDR. But in this, um, on this drone, you can actually uh, shoot 4K60 and HDR at the same time. And also, you can have all the obstacle avoidance sensors turned on. In fact, you can't even turn them off on this. They're always on. But, but listen again, 4K60, HDR, and full obstacle avoidance all at the same time. I, I believe on uh, the Mavic Air 2, in certain settings, um, you, you have to turn off optical avoidance. Like, uh, I don't know if it's 4K60, you have, to, you have to turn it off or it turns it off for you, but I know there's some limitations uh, where the, the optical avoidance is turned off for certain camera settings so we'll take a deeper dive into that at a later date but uh so i want to show you i'm going to do uh, i've got my uh, sky 2 connected to the phone app so we're going to uh do a little what do you call screen recording and we're going to put that in so i'm going to uh and i'm going to show you the the camera settings in here so screen me, recording so let's go back to the uh you always get a pop up when you don't want one so let me make sure we're still screen recording we are all right so back to the um the app here. Okay, now we've already we're already into the Scudio app here. Uh, I'm not going to show the whole app, but okay, on the upper right hand corner, you see the 4K um, icon. So we're going to click that. Okay, and right now it shows that we're in um, 4K 60 at HDR. So um, and you could actually start recording. I'll hit the uh, uh, I can't hit the record button because. Um, uh, the, you know the drones uh, not not taking off. I guess you can't record here unless you're in the air on this drone, um, and and of course it doesn't want to take off because it thinks it's an unsafe area. So I don't think we can actually start recording. But let me just show you here in the settings. Okay, so we're 4K, uh, uh, you know, 60 HDR. We get to, we turn HDR off by hitting that uh, there. So that's HDR off. And that's HDR on. But here's the odd thing. You cannot shoot uh, 4K 24 frames in HDR. Let me hit the 60 frame uh, button here, down to 24, and see how it disables HDR uh, and turns the compensation um, controls on, uh, which they were on auto, and it puts it on manual for you. So I, I didn't really know that before. So that's kind of odd. So let's go back and hit the, uh, okay, 30 frames per second. Now we can do HDR. 48 frames we can do HDR, and 60 frames we can do HDR with the Scudio uh, too. So, um, you know, for you camera buffs, this may be a, a slight advantage over the uh, Mavic Air as far as, um, you know, camera settings. Now, of course, this comes at a kind of a price. Uh, this drone here, the base model, which includes uh, the drone and, and, and one battery and... Uh, you know, I guess the charging cord and charging brick. Hey, yeah, a bare bones package is nine ninety nine. If you want to order a beacon or a controller, that's all more money, extra battery, um, and the base kit for the Mavic Air Two is seven ninety nine. But that does come with a controller. 
which this doesn't in the base kit um, but this does fly real well from from the from the phone but um, anyhow so uh, if we of course if we go down to HD we could shoot 60 frames per second oh no no look in HD we, we don't have HDR well at least not that setting here okay HDR 30 okay there's no HDR in, in HD 1080p settings um, of course you can go from 30 uh, up to tw uh, uh, 120 which I think the Mavic Air 2 could go up to 240 frames per second in HDR so that uh, win for the uh, the Mavic uh, Mavic Air 2 so let's see here and there there's only 4k in HDR this doesn't have any 2.7 uh, K or 720 uh, K uh, 720p sorry get my letters confused there so uh, I haven't really done much in um, the HD settings here so I didn't realize that so let's get that back to 4k so um, wait a minute here what's this record button here oh that's the automatic record when you take manual record okay maybe on manual record I can record now uh, it's on manual but I don't know how to start uh, let me get rid of that Yeah, and because I'm in an unsafe space, it won't let me start uh, e even just filming. So, um, started cam. Now it's restarting due to a camera issue. But anyhow, I, I never saw that before. It's kind of because I'm trying to start a camera where you can't. So it's calibrating now. But anyhow, so um, let me stop this screen recording here. Stop. Oh, screen recording. So um, that's a, a, a you know nobody's talked about this yet that I know. Uh, about that, um, you know, that the uh, Mavic Air 2 doesn't have 4K 60 HDR all at the same time, or the Scudio drone uh, does. So, um, just something to, to think about uh, if you're trying to make a purchase decision between this or the Mavic Air 2. And I'm not saying this is a better drone than the Mavic Air 2 in, in you know, in any ways, except that it does have the ability to do 4K 60 and HDR all at the same time. And again, we're going to take a deeper dive, but I know that the obstacle avoidance is restricted on the Mavic Air 2 in certain situations where there's no restrictions on this drone it will do its obstacle obstacle avoidance in any setting uh, whether it's a you know hyperlapse a drone an orbit uh, you know it, it, it's always fully in an obstacle avoidance mode so um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this little bit of information I will um, you know, leave a link below uh, where you could purchase um, the um, Mavic Air 2 drone from DJI. Um, and I don't really have a purchase link from this because you can't really buy except to get on a waiting list. So I don't, I don't have a link. If you're interested in the Scudio 2, I guess go over the Scudio and get yourself in the next batch. Uh, I won't expect it to, to come anytime soon. So, um, you know probably your better luck would be going over to like eBay or Facebook Marketplace and and get one a slightly used one from somebody who wants to jump ship and get um, either a Mavic Air 2 or maybe an Altel Evo 2 or something like that uh, maybe they decided to Scudio was their cup of tea but um, anyhow um, get I'll leave those you know that link below if you want to purchase uh, the Mavic Air 2 it seems like a great drone I would kind of predict it's going to be the uh, probably the consumer drone of uh, 2020, even though I think I've called the Mavic Mini the drone of the year already. And I still think the Mavic Mini may sell more units, but I think um, the Mavic Air 2 hits that sweet spot, you know, just, um, you know, good you know good enough for most. Most people that would kind of been purchased a Mavic 2 before because, you know, the old Mavic Air and the Mini didn't really offer enough for them. I think this Mavic Air 2 will have the features to, you know, to satisfy most uh, uh, drone pilots or whatever. It's going to be a few people that really require the wanted sensor of like a Mavic 2 Pro. But uh, of course, we have rumors of a Mavic uh, Pro 3 on the way this summer. Uh, just, just rumors. I don't, I don't know anything, you know, for sure. Um, but uh, and we know uh, they're going to DJI is going to release a, a new Matrice at the end of this week. Uh, it's, it's a badly kept secret. I think it's coming Friday. So, and I think that's a 
$8,000 drone base price before you add any cameras to it. So, uh, anyways, that's probably more, as Marcus Croft would say, it's probably more information than you wanted to know. But, uh, you know, thanks for stopping by. Uh, you know, let me know what you think of that new uh, Mavic Air 2 in the comments below. Are you going to get it? Did you pre order it? Are you waiting to see the reviews? Or, you know, um, are you still considering getting the Scudio? Do you have the Scudio? Do you love the 4K60? You know, just, just let me know what's going on. And, uh, you know, don't forget to catch me on, on, on some of the live shows I do. Of course, we do, you know, Xeno Nation on Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we do Road Talk Live at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays. We do the, 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 Philly, the Philly Drone Life and Ron show at uh, 9 o'clock on uh Tuesday nights, uh, East, this is all Easter Standard Time. I'm on Coast to Coast Drones, Drone Therapy at 8.30 on um, a Wednesday night. So, you know, I've got a full full schedule some weeks. And um, But, uh, you know, if you want to get in here, a little chat about drones or whatever, you know, drones that are released, drones that aren't released, uh, you know, uh, all sorts of specs and whatever, Drop in, see us. I'll throw the links down below. So I'm going to stop uh, jibber-jabbing here, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, as they always say.